Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to another NTW3 4 vs. 4. I'm your host, Julie Dan, and this was submitted in by Jaeger. And someone definitely raided up here early, considering there's a Narod player on the field today, and that was way too good of a deployment. Oh boy. Going for the guns here. Uh, Alpha is playing as the uh, Ruskies here. Oh, we have the end. This was submitted by Jaeger. He is playing as. as this France and Spaniard team. Uh, the Imperials do have a two point advantage, which I'm guessing was uh, set by um, some of the coalition. We have Sir Craven, I believe, playing as. I'm not sure. Sam Jordo, I'm certain, is playing as the Austrians. Uh, I believe Craven and uh, Fumballs should be playing as Portugal and Prussia 9. I don't know which is which there. And then, of course, we have Big Nuba, Travis S. And. I forget the six point players. Was is it Cookie? I don't know. I I'll just refer to him as the Polish player because I actually forgot the other man's name. There's a lot, a lot of pressure going on by Ruski. Uh, this force is extremely iso isolated around the map. If you take a look at the map here, so they're spawning very far forward at the one point. However, because of the Ruski player, it's it's gonna be difficult. So uh, this player really just uh, Jaeger here. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be referring as this player, that player. It's really just referring by their proper names. Jaeger really needs to just kind of box up here, just kind of defend himself against the cab, making a little bit of a charge over the Hussars, so his men are just being constantly harassed by the horse archers. Catching unit there, most likely will break that unit. Kind of catching him off guard here, it's going to be, it looks like that's only going to be one unit though. They will be, uh, oh my god, he's really relentless here, but this is a very, very cheap Hussar unit, so that's a pretty good trade. And if he actually breaks that unit, that's going to be pretty, nope, no, he's not. Yeah, it's going to be sandwiched here, and that unit is going to be absolutely massacred. I don't think a single one of them will make it out alive here. Uh, if you look at the LOC points, uh, we have one large one point right in the middle, which is probably going to be the point of you know most of the fighting. Uh, two four points, uh, just literally like on a road, like straight up from each other. I mean, you could occupy this four, you could just march straight up onto that four. That's interesting. Okay, we have this little one here, and two ones to the yes to the east. Uh, so I imagine a lot of the fightings will be taking place around this one point, uh, though uh, another strategy, now obviously as uh, the, co if there wasn't a Ruski player, personally, um, man, it's just so difficult because when you have these, uh, especially a Ruski player, like a calf core on the field, you really just can't be isolated, but in this in this situation, you kind of have to be isolated, so in any other situation, I, I was the French player, I, or the uh, coalition, but I would be freaking Russian to take this thing. But because you have that Ruski player, you can position grills inside the building and all that, and that's just, it's just going to be a pain. It's going to be a pain. You even have those mines in front of the building. It's just literally, whew, that is going to suck. But they really got to regroup here, and it seems like they've already successfully regrouped. Uh, you got the ca cavalry connecting with each other, so they should be more or less, more or less safe from Ruski's wrath there. I'm sure if they were like about maybe a, a minute away, more away from each other, that would have been a very, 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 very annoying situation for Jaeger there. But yes, they will eventually regroup here, and the Austrians are going to march up now because of because of uh, the French player here, the Yeager, not being able to march up in fear of being outflanked by Ruski instead. He does not have too many squareables. Seems like just what about three here. He has a decent amount of squareables, but I guess he was a little scared of uh, getting outflanked by Ruski there. Uh, he was not able to take march up and take a much better position. So the uh, Austrian player here, I believe this is Sam. Uh, is going to, yeah, it's just a much better, much, much, much better position. The French have these defensive force, which are just going to be a pain for the French to take. And they can really start flanking him on the right here, considering it's just a six point. Now, I, I, if I if I know something, what the hell was that? I don't even know what that was. Like, did they get guns or something? No, I don't know. I, like, uh, okay, no, ignoring that. Um... I would probably start really trying to outflank, flank, outflank them on the right. I think Austin really needs to be kind of uh, just you know, lightly pushing against France, kind of keeping that pressure on, trying to pin him in place, but not dedicate too much, and just kind of allow. Oh man, like I would imagine you can get Portugal over here and or Spain or something. Uh, I'm sorry, um, Prussia, not not Spain. It's not even a Spanish player on the field. Uh, really just start outflanking them on the right. Uh, I, this the um, this six point here. I hate fighting five six point uh, French factions. They are the most annoying thing you'll ever fight in this game. But it, it is still a six. You're just gonna outnumber them and just eventually overwhelm them in terms of mass. And I think you could really um, 
considering you have a Ruski player, I think it's totally possible to overpower with the cab on the right. Or you could do the same thing on the left. That's definitely an option. But I think, but then again, these forests make it difficult, so maybe not. Man, this is a, now it's a tricky situation because eventually the French are just going to be able to overpower uh, the Austrian player here in the middle. Uh, especially considering they have all these gun positions here, it's just just not not going to be uh, not a good time for the Austrians here. Uh, they really need to take out these guns when they can, but with the Polish cap protecting them, it just doesn't look very plausible. Okay, got some Bulati here marching up, running away those Cossacks. Let's speed up a little here, just uh, some uh, mirroring and minor actions here, nothing too intense. We got some of the horse archers up on the coalition right, kind of starting to make a move up. And again, this, this column is just getting marching towards this just massive line. Oof, okay, the Austin's making an assault here. These are just wiener, yeah, wieners, wiener land bear. This is just land bear, so I can, can afford to get shop, so I wonder when they're going to send some sort of attachment to take out these guns. Oof, and I was actually unloading into the uh, unloading into the Shevlagers. These or I'm sorry, these are dragoons. You usually don't see Austrian dragoons every every day. Uh, I, from most tales and most experience I've, I've ever had, Austrian dragoons are not that amazing. I've always just recommend to bring Shev Shevlagers and not not dragoons. They can perform like the same task, but in a lot of cases better. You can bring more of them. I, I don't know. I, I I never saw the point in Austrian dragoons. Oh my gosh, that killed a lot of horses. Oof, that was a good artillery hit. <laughs> Actually broke that shovel green it. That killed what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, that was like ten guys in one. That was ten out oh, ship. Wow, that's uh, that's just a good artillery hit. What kind of artillery is this? Eight pounds? Okay. They're good. They're good. Good artillery there. French eight pounds. We got some uh well these man, Prussian along. A lot of lancers today from the um from the coalition. Making some moves out of the forest here. Get some Lorraine line right there, kind of mirroring them. We got some provisional crosshairs. I do not bring these provisional crosshairs, in my opinion. They are absolute garbage. I can kind of forget bringing um, core provisional dragoons because if you can support them, they can actually be pretty they're pretty poggers. But overall, um, yeah, they're just not going to win their own fight. I usually just do the dragoon spam, like most Hispania players. So he's going to try to shoot two of those uh, yeah, Cossack Lancers there. You should want to target. This is just not super efficient target you want to be hitting. This is just land there. It's not really going to be anything too significant. We got some skirmishers here. This is a good use of skirmishers there from the Austrian player. Keeping them out of range. and This will just be able to unload there. I usually don't think Austrian skirmishers are that amazing. I usually don't bring them, but uh, whatever's your kink, whatever. And you should be able to move them up here. Just keep them out of range. So I was looking at Lancer Stateburg. This is a pretty, pretty nice Lancer unit. Looks going to charge into the charge into the skirms. I hope these things are not uh, protected. If you're this uh, French player, because that's a very, very good Lancer unit. Oh boy! Uh, losing six guys. Oh my God! That thing is getting. Yeah, that's is this thing going to break. Taking the fire from like nearly every every direction. It seems they broke that skirm, but yeah. 15 men. Ah, it's about an equal trade. These things are dirt cheap, so I think it's actually more of a win for the Austrian player there. I've all units lie the Lancers of Berg, but I don't know. Perhaps he's out of light cav. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. It seems like that was only like fast cav, so I guess. Oh my god, and over here we got a little bit of a cav skirmish here. Dang, man. Yeah, see what I mean? You gotta keep these things supported. You can't really just throw them out by themselves. It's just core provisional dragoons. They will die very quickly. That yeah, was just horse archers. In fact, that horse archer that originally broke came back. Oh man, if they can take out these things, I don't know why these things are just unsupported. I mean, they are—they're not necessarily unsupported, but okay, it looks like he's, he's going to sacrifice a unit of uh, horse archers here for the rest of them to make it out alive, which is a good play there. Got, got himself a little isolated there. We managed to recover. It's just one horse archer, so it's not that big of a deal. Got some Kazaki Don. These should win if they can actually get that charge off. Colonel General Hussars. I'm going to pull them out of there. Just Lancers. Over here on the right side. Oh my god, dude. dude. Why are you chasing down so many skirms with Lancers? That's such a valuable Lancer unit, man. Dang, dude. Yeah, you took out two skirms, but you're losing, like, a really good Lancer unit there. I don't know why. You... I don't know. It's just strange. It's only two skirms, so I... it's not that big of a threat, but... Anyway, jeez. 
And again, uh, there's not, not too much action time from just some line skirmishing here. Deutsch line. Vila. I mean, hell, man. Uh, I believe that is a... What house is that? That's the four point. That's their four point. Just some might skirmishing here. Nothing too ridiculous. Man, it's not really some skirmishing. It's just some um, minor engagements. Try to pin the enemy in place. Supposedly for the Prussians or the Portuguese to arrive. I don't know. It seems like the Portuguese are going to arrive over here and the Prussians are going to arrive down here. Just, yeah, that's, that's what... I mean, judge, judging by the position of their generals, but I don't know. Could go either way. They could be trying to do a deception tactic. Seems like he's just trying to pin them in place. Uh, get, allow them to occupy these woods here. That's going to be a good position to fall back to and to hold. So, I mean, if they can kind of keep this... I mean, it's, it's almost like perfectly <laughs> aligned here to, like, outflank them. So this would be a very good position to hold. At this point, you probably... You know, this position isn't really possible to assault with the guns, considering you just have land there, there unless you can take out these guns. But because there's this Polish cav here, it's not really that possible. But you just want to pin them in place, just kind of keep them there for a while. And so let his allies arrive to the field. Technically, one of his allies is already with, with them, but I don't really know where Alpha is going right now. I mean, a lot of his horse is hidden. It just seems like you can only see his horse archers consistently. But yeah, they're going to be really wanting to dig out these things. Because they can do a lot of damage to your cavalry over time. And he's kind of cutting them off here. This actually might be the end for these horse archers. Unless you can... I think it might be a little too late now. Oh, no, no. He's got some he's got some lancers there. I have to run through that ridge line. He's exhausting this Polish cav. This is very good cav. Very good lancers. Will they escape? Will they escape? Will they escape? Will they escape? Uh, I think just barely. I think they're just barely going to make it out of there. Oh, oh. Uh, I might just clip them. I think they're just going to clip them there. Oh, yeah, I think it's just the um, being uh, the game engine being dumb. God, man, they are desperate to kill these things. Winded, tire, man, he's tiring out those Orleans. Orleans are not good groons. I don't know why he brought them. Oh, my gosh, like literally two feet away from them. Like a meter away. Good lord. They're going to get out of there just barely, just barely. And he cannot win that cat fight. If anything, this is more of a win because he's tiring out a lot of his... Uh, I mean, good lord, already... That's heavy calf there. Tiring out that. Tiring out. I think that was more of a win for him. It's just light calf. C9s. So they can just easily run up and skirmish. And yeah, it's kind of doing what the horse archers are meant to do, aren't they? Over here on the left and right. Oh boy, it looks like it looks like he's going to be able to take him out. No, he's going to run him away. Retreat them into that square there. See, so he's gonna might lose his dragoon. Oh, I don't know why he's he should be pulling them back. That's not a very. Yeah, they're gonna get shredded there. It's not. Yeah, just kind of used a dragoon unit there. These Jaegers that came back. No, uh, actually, no, mind. They're fighting in the skirmish. I was about to say it's like no, no, no point in putting your infantry in light infantry mode if um you're not fighting other skirms, but you're not even under fire. But no, there's skirms there. Swiss wolf gears. Good skirmish unit there. Some Alani there, but charging to a wood. So I don't know what the point of that is. And my god. I should just making some relentless cavalry charges here. Head on to the lines. I don't know how the in the world that's ever gonna work. Rear charging his own men. Do not uh, do not rear charge your own units. It deals damage to them. And yeah, those units are gonna break. That's not a comedy expect from charging lines head on. You never want to do that. This medieval tactics there. Ugh. But anyway, the Austrian player really, I feel like just taking out these guns would be like a huge, huge uh, help for his team. So I don't know why, I, I think he really should be dedicating his, his uh, cav over here. That, that would just help a lot. And maybe just throw a militia forward, a couple militia forward, and just kind of pin it down, throw a cav unit at it. I mean, I think that's what it really needs to be working on. He's got to wait, wait for his teammates to get in position and help them out as much as possible in terms of positioning. Okay, now, now the... Uh, <laughs> The Poles are going to do a head-on charge with the Austrians. Again, that's just... Even the, even against Militia, it's just... Yeah, you were probably going to be able to take out that unit, but it's just... It's a Polish Lancer, man. It's even a combat gen. There's no real point in doing it. Yeah. He took out Militia and lost a Lancer. There's no... no yeah, there's no real point in that happening. Might want to move his Dragoons kind of behind this building or start running them at the guns. They're not really doing much here, just getting shot. And my god, this horse archer skirmish. This look okay, this is where Alpha's 
forces here. Making some just engagements here against the French. Well, these actually, yeah. These Lancers should be able to charge these gendarmes. Can they break them? I think they should be able to. Some heavy cab they could kill. There you go. That's a solid unit down. It's just a really small heavy cab unit. Oh my god. <laughs> heavy cab, core professionals, man. That's like the perfect target you have with horse archers. Oof, already wavering just to that. I do not bring these things. I, I, I personally hate this unit cav. Never does anything for me. But yeah, they will be able to take out a lot. Man, that's a uh, Dragoon unit gone. Looks like they might be able to take out these. Man, these are just professional SARS, but still. Oh, man. Dude, what is happening over here? Looks like it looks like he really tried taking out those guns for a second time. And he's moving. Like, this is really what you really need to be doing. Pressuring this flank hard. Really try and take out these guns. Really get them in a better, better position. Oh, my God. These things are going to be able pour point-blank volleys into this. This is not... You, they got to be pulling their cab out of here. It looks like they made a charge at... um. Oh, my God. What these... Yes. Hussars or provisional dragoons? Hussars. A little bit from the fire there. Whoops. Looks like they made a charge at the... Oh, it looks like... Okay, damn. They actually look, managed to look... They managed to take out some of the Austrian guns here. Some of them are still alive. Okay, there we go. Looks like attempted. And then this thing's actually got there alive, too. So that's good. Guard Zoo. I got some pretty nice Prussian infantry. Love these... Like marshmallows on their heads. It's very, very nice. Got some. I wonder what these guys did here. Look, oh, it looks like I tried to go for those guns. Man, oh my god. Look at Austria just freaking collapsing to this cavalry charge, man. Oh, look, we got the Portuguese arriving. Okay, so it looks like uh, the Prussians will actually be on the left for the coalition, and the Portuguese will be on the right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And over here looks like a lot of cav got him down, so Alpha at this point really needs to be just getting into their rear. And they can pull off like one decisive maneuver, one decisive action that can just really screw them over. Either be on the flank or even the center. Just get in their rear, man. Get into their rear, take out some generals maybe, take out some slacking units that are lacking behind. I look at their cav here. I mean, obviously he wouldn't know this, but just some uh, some decent dragoons. Decent Dragoons. Those are not very good Dragoons. Artois a good Dragoon unit. Anyway, yeah, the Austrians got kind of retreating in a panic there. Interesting situation. Before we go any further, we should probably be doing this. Here we go. Guns just kind of pounding the Austrian positions there. Holding good positions, but they're just getting pounded by artillery. Good spot for skirms to be in there. What are these guys even shooting at? Wait, where are they in range? Oh, some ball. Oh, okay. Reserve for severe. Reserve fusil Yeah. Reserve fusiliers. Okay, cool. That's not gonna... That fight's gonna take a while to finish. It's in the, it's in the forest. The horse archers, man, they're just going to be shooting those things to pieces. Feel bad for them. Notice how the horse archers fire their bows like firearms. Because horse archers aren't actually a thing in uh, vanilla. <laughs> and they're also silent. I love that. It's great. Portuguese making another attempt, but that's gonna be blocked by some infantry here. I mean, forming square, actually making a bay, literally a bayonet charge at the cavalry. Interesting. The inverted rolls there. Portuguese skirms just kind of getting up close. Might want to pull them back though, so they don't take significant fire. So shoot at the squares, but man, you could be uh, arming at these guns. Which is another way you could use skirms is be really aggressive with them and like try and take out artillery. But that, from my experiences, that's just it's just never really worked out too well. So Swiss line here, these are nice yellow uniforms. Portuguese here, they're gonna have a tough time. Yes, again, as I, I've mentioned, the uh, the Imperial still have a two point advantage. So I, I don't know if that was intentional or not, but. Generally, like, one point to me isn't that bad, but a two-point advantage is a little, a little ridiculous. Rear charging his own squares there. Oh, my God! What is that? Friendly fire. Oh, no, turn off the guns. Turn off the guns. Almost broke a pull, you know, you know Polish lance. The Diablos, that's a very good lancer unit. Now, Portuguese really going to be rushing up here, catching these uh, Frenchmen off guard. 
They could make a breakthrough here, and then if they could get rid of these guns, that would be a miracle. They forced back the, them for this position, so they're not going to be able to use those guns. If they can just remove these guns from the game, that would be just a actual miracle. What is going on here? Got some Dragoons, Dragoons. Got some uh, Austrian guns there, Crossiers. Might be going for a big attack here. On this line, which is all reserves, so this is not going to go, um... Yeah, that's just not going to... Yeah, they could get a good, like, just flanking charge. Send something to kind of absorb the fire of the, uh, the guns and, uh, the cavalry charge and just kind of slam to the flank. That could be devastating. They have some infantry to follow through with. Yes, they do. Guard zoom. It's good infantry. This could be, this could, this could turn to something real. Something very, very real. Again, the map is keep, <laughs> keeping the guns. They can't fire because they have to cover the retreat of them. Me uh, having to fall back. Uh, the France here kind of panicking. There was micro here. Or they, they could just be still limbering. One of the two. Portuguese should be able to pressure them here. Portuguese line is kind of equivalent to British line. Not not 100%, but it's kind of like a off-brand British. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is exactly what I mentioned. Oh man, god, those artillery strolls are just be ripping through them, man. If they could just get a good rear ch flanking charge. They didn't really send anything to, like, absorb the fire, though. They just kind of all threw at the flank, and oh my god, he had this, like, all rear charging. That's not going to go too well for them. They're going to break this unit of uh, reserve almost. Oh, they might have been breaking units of reserve. Well, oh my god, this friendly fire is just. Oh wow, okay, well, it looks like because they apparently friendly fired themselves, that actually might have caused them to break there. That's unfortunate, but they still have plenty of cav left. They might actually break these um, these reserves here. Oh man, this is a very, very aggressive push. I like seeing this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just kind of these reserves here with a big gap opened up. That's going to be very, very vulnerable to cav. Oof, man, they're rear charging and friendly firing. Their own. Oh my, we got Alfred's Lancers coming in the back here. This is very, very, very well executed. Very well executed from the coalition here. I like this. I like this a lot. I like seeing plays like this. Oh, man, send men in like that. Jeez, this is very, very well coordinated there, especially with Alfred's Lancers there. Good good, good timing, a uh, bit of uh, dispositioning there for the French, not having anything protecting its cavalry there, except, I mean, their, their heavy-hitting cab was very far back, and they accidentally friendly fired themselves there, which was another big mistake. Got some of the Austrian line. Oh, my God, this is a cluster of, cluster of a fuck. Jesus. Yeah, breaking those reserves there, and crashing their flank. Uh, Austria, I think, should be sending this unit here. They can just kind of slam into there. And did they take out those guns? Did they take out A unit? Looks like they took out A unit over here. No, 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 it's, it's still alive. It was attempt. It was an attempt. Well, this this Portugal player kind of doing his job, and he's holding back a 10 point as a 7, so he's definitely getting his uh, points worth there. Uh, but they're going to be vulnerable to French counterattacks. I think at this point they're kind of be falling back because now the cavs going to get tired and overstretched and just kind of fall back behind the infantry. Make a form square here because um, they got a lot of cav left. Dragoons here, dragoons there, dragoons more, but just more dragoons. Provisional crosshairs, which are not the. Oh man, <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at the Austrian cav here. Making some. These are just a SAR, so I'm assuming this is just to pin down the enemy. And this could actually save them here because they might be able to overpower this dragoon unit, this Austrian crosshair. And oh man, this is actually quite. This is a very well coordinated attack. They might lose their army in the center. They just broken through the center here. This is... God, I, I, I don't know how many times I have to say this is a very well-coordinated attack. It's kind of going to uh, scan across the line here. Very, very, very nice. Very well done. Uh, but there's just so many Dragoons, and the Austrian Cavs going to kind of get wiped out here, and it uh, looks like some of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coalition's doing good. They definitely have two point disadvantage this game, so it's pretty good. Doing pretty good so far. I, I should really not be pressing space as more of the, the for the um at the player's perspective. Now, Portugal is definitely doing his job over here, but he might eventually get overstretched or just simply overwhelmed. Uh, this Polish player has kind of been very reluctant to dedicate his army. He might want to kind of plug yeah, that I think he's gonna plug in that gap. And as long as there's no uh, coalition guns here, he could probably um, again this this uh, the six point Polish faction is very very elite, has good quality infantry, might be able to make a breakthrough. But then again, you do have the um, I either they should put a lot of militia or actually infantry here, because that'll just be able to wear them down or um, actually win that fight here. But it kind of depends. This is just again all reserve. If they had a light cab unit, they could 
charge in here. That would that would do a lot of damage. Oh wow, okay. That was very weak. Well, man, eh, maybe I don't know. Very weak lancer unit. Taking out two units of militia there. This flank's gonna break. He needs to be pulling back here. He needs to be pulling back. This push, this push needs to be more, more organized. He needs to be over straight, straight of a line here. He needs to be really reorganizing his army and sending some reserves to kind of help out this front, which is, does not seem to be going too well. Kind of a bit of a panic here, really running here. Both sides are desperate to either run away or kill each other. And yeah, these men are just, they're not going to win a line fight against these things. So I think actually get, sending the melee is actually quite smart there. Just catching him off guard. They're probably not even going to win in a melee fight, but he's going to tie these things down. Just, God, these things. I hate hate fighting six and five points of the um of the French. They are just it's pain, really really painful. Got these guard zoo, very very elite infantry there. Are these just sappers? No, these aren't sappers. These are light infantry. They're taking isolating unit. They're taking it out. That's very good. Every one of these units is just a huge relief. Got some reserves coming in. Actual reserve infantry. Oh god. This is just a, it's a bit of a cluster here. Very, very disorganized. But it looks like they're uh, the Prussians are gonna be retreating instead of pursuing. Yes. Setting a bit of a like a rear guard here. Protect its units, but they might get uh, eventually kind of caught out by Cav here. Hopefully they can make these guards zoo form square. Nope, they're gonna catch them. Oh, no, no, these are, these are friendly cav. Whoops. I'm sorry. Sorry for that miscommunication, guys. Portugal pushing back the Espanyas. He might not win this fight, but he's definitely doing his job. Taking away that, that uh, point of advantage. And you got Alfred's uh, Lancers. Probably probably been working in the back alive, just haven't been paying attention. But they've been picking away at the French cav. I don't know why they're dedicating their cav in this kind of situation. They really should be keeping it close to their lines. They've got these Grenadiers here also um, being forgotten. Yeah, they really should not be isolating Cav like this. They really should be keeping it close to their lines. Portugal kind of being forced back from the guns here, and I would imagine Austria would be the same. But it seems like the momentum of the Prussian assault has been taken away, and I think the Prussians, in my opinion, really need to be retreating here. Um, this guard zoo is good, but then this... This Polish infantry, man, it's it's good. It's got all like over 22 accuracy. And yes, these these units are five. Okay, but in my opinion, it's just you want to be retreating here. Yes, exactly. There you go. You don't want to be getting too close to those things. Those things will uh, they'll hurt you. They'll hurt really bad. And I got the Austrians kind of breaking over here in the center. Not very good. They're only pulling back to that building. I think at this point, they've really been doing a mass retreat into the woods. Yes, there you go. And if the French here have any cav, they might want to keep that pursuement up. They really need to be pressing here. They need to be pressing hard. They want to get, try and kill as many before they can get to the woods. And the French are also going to start outflanking them on the right here. It just depends how many uh, how many reserves here. But these um these six pounds will be a bit, a bit of a pain for them, especially considering they're in the they're in the woods. My God, Portuguese cav killing French cav. Oh man, what's gonna happen to Ney? What's gonna happen to Ney here? I think he's gonna get yeah yeah. He's got to be running Ney away from there. Oh my god, Ney, Ney's going to get sandwiched if he doesn't run him into a square. I would for, force these guys... Oh, no, no, Ney might, might, Ney might die here. I would be running him over here in this direction right now. God, not squaring infantry. He's very much in a panic. Yeah, Portuguese, yeah, they're, they're doing very, very well here. Uh, outmaneuvering the enemy, just kind of working around them. This is why I like attacking, not defending, because you always just get to work your way around your enemy, not against him. You don't just parallel his moves. You, you don't parallel your enemy's moves. You just, you make decisions, you know. That's why I always like attacking. And the funny thing is they, they actually own LLC here. There's, there's really no need, per se, for them to push, but they, they do it anyway, which is, oh, that was a mistake of my, <laughs> my part. Whoops. But uh, they, they do it because they like attacking, which I like. I like those kinds of players. Oh my god, France really getting caught in a position here. A Swiss line. Swiss. 
check over here on the right. Just this infantry is getting uh, pounded by uh, these Prussian six pounds. They are, they're going to get outflanked here if they can just manage to uh, take out these guns here, which I'm assuming exactly what he's doing with these dragoons. They're kind of run out of light cav because it's all died to Alfred. Kind of having this little back line here to protect against the cav, which is smart. And this um this left of the French is looking like it's gonna collapse. And my God, yeah. And uh, these Swiss can form square, but if they form square, they're gonna be vulnerable to the the uh, the Portuguese here in melee. Oh man, catching them off guard there. The Swiss are good in melee, but if they're forced into square, they're not gonna win that fight. Okay, well it actually looks like uh that pound is more cavs being dedicated. Oh, this maximum. Oh my God, yeah. That could, this is actually gonna go too well for the Portuguese. Okay, good, good, uh, good counterattack there from the French. Gonna be forming square. That can be preventing any form of um, any form of extra attacks. Looks like he accidentally lost. I'd be running those things out of there. I wouldn't want any more um, any more casualties apart. They might rout, but they would probably come back. And now the Portuguese are looking vulnerable to counterattacks here. If um, but now they themselves are looking a little vulnerable to counterattacks as well. The cav that's just uh, appeared in the view over on the right. I apologize for not catching that. Yes, the, they have taken out these uh, these six pounds, running into some uh, national cavalry. That's going to make this flank a lot more vulnerable to attack, which is um, good on the French. Yeah, they're, they're, wow, they were very much outflanked here. There's like almost nothing stopping them. Um, in this situation, I would pull back. I, I would pull back. I, I would pull back to this kind of front and make it a little more narrow. You could always kind of, um, I mean, hell, you guys still own LLC. I'm assuming they own all these points over here. Too. I don't, don't want to go look over there to see, but... Portuguese now kind of becoming a little overstretched. They are a 7.5 and 10 after all. Some skirms there. What is this thing planning? What is this unit planning? Some Lee Passars. Very good. Light Cav. I'm looking for those stakes. I'm always like watching to see if like, those stakes that just randomly placed somewhere. Someone just runs into them. It's always a horrible feeling. Oof. Yeah, this is a difficult situation. I'll be falling back into. I don't think this is a winning fight. It's not a winning fight. Setting up a line right here. Um, the French, they have Cav. I, I wonder where the Coalition Cav is. Uh, this is going to buy you some time, uh, but eventually these men are just, just going to outflank here. I think they need to set up a, a good line, probably uh, against this artillery here, just right here, right, right about there. But they're going to be in a panic, though. They're going to be in a panic. I think they really need repositioning their forces here. It's going to buy them time. They have a lot of reserves here. Unless they can bring over... Yeah, it looks... Oh, no, no. It looks like they're actually going to attempt to hold and wait for some of um, Ruski Narod's uh, Lancers to kind of come around the back. But it's just they're, they're wavering here. I mean, they're also wavering, but they just have a lot of reserves. So it doesn't really matter. And this one's kind of become stagnant. I would be making some attacks uh, if I were the French here. This is just a 7.0 after all, and those, I think the Portuguese guns, I think are really the only thing that's keeping them alive right now. These are just skirms. And you're getting those skirms out of there, they're gonna be taking some fire. Looks like he's actually using his little rear guard, okay, cool, cool. Oh, wow, and they have the Prussian cavalry kind of making a uh, run around, and this is going to tie down all, most of the... Oh, wow, so they actually have... They marry each other, guys, so they're kind of setting up that line there, like I was mentioning. A little far forward than I would uh, I would personally like, but... These guards, zoo man, yet, yet to be fully dedicated. They're going to run into these Legier. They have these, uh, this combat gen here. Not many cinematic shots this game. I'm just kind of really paying attention to what's happening around. Okay, now the French kind of on the run. Okay. And a lot of their lines wavering here. Good portion of it. These these guards zoo. You have to be dedicated. And if I am them. Yeah, but they're just—they're gonna win on this flank here. They're—they're they're gonna win on this flank. It's just 
There's just not, not enough Portuguese. Too many Frenchmen. Through mass, though, they should win that fight. But then again, they have these Austrians, which just now appear in the view. Um, not many of these are important squares. They're be kind of vulnerable to rear charges. I would start turning them now, though. Um, they don't really have any cav left. That's kind of the problem. They have uh, this, this this provisional cross here. Oh man, those Prussian guns are gonna be ripping holes. Them like, look how deeply packed they are. I would be start. I mean, I would probably. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It looks like the coalition is now making a big attack and a melee too. Wow, okay, what is this unit? Leave oh yeah, leave grenadiers. They're charging a bunch of wavering units, they're very, very depleted. Uh, do they have any Grenadiers to counter them? They have these Poles, which, which are really good in melee, but... Actually, yeah, that should be enough, actually. Yeah, these Poles, Poles are really good in melee, especially the Guard Poles. Uh, what's what really looking most concerning to me, though, is their lack of Cav. I think they literally have, like, this one Cav. That might actually be the only Cav unit they have on the field left. Now for, uh... Should we be sending these Lancers here? This is... Almost looking a little hard to say this is a winning fight for the, um... I don't know why he's pulling, putting his lance... His, yeah, there he goes, he's pulling it back now, there you go. So close to the line. <laughs> I think this is just eventually going to be won by the French, though. Is if, unless they can make a cavalry charge or a good cavalry action against them. This game is looking very tough. We've got a big brawl in the woods here. These Prussian Lancers? Yep. Prussian Lancers. There's this one unit cad to protect them. This French line... Ugh. It's... It's... Not looking too hot, but the Prussians aren't looking too amazing. Actually, no. Oh, man. This French line isn't looking too hot. Especially with all the cav here. They got some Portuguese that looks like they're trying to make a charge. and It almost looks like they charged directly into the cuirass here. It's a little bizarre there. This is still winnable. On this flank, and I think this this fight should eventually go to the French, just have sheer mass. Again, I don't think there's any way he could, he could delay. I think, but I don't think he could full on win this fight unless he gets some cav support. This 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 is looking really close. These guards zoom in one volley. On, I want to see this. Ah, he's marching them forward, not shooting. Guard fusiliers. There we go. Boom! Look at that. This is in the woods, too. That's very, very accurate. Whew, man. All right. Yeah, that's going to break that unit. That's going to break... Uh, should break that unit if he decides to turn it. I don't know what's with this reserve de Metz and always, like, appearing at, like, every freaking battle, and it always like, appears to perform very, very well. Reserve de Metz. Legion is reserve de Metz, whatever. It's Polish general here. Oh, God. That thing is just going to shred them. It's just as time goes by, it's looking progressively less winnable for the French. And, um, unless they can make some great turn, but as uh, Portugal's just going to keep running away. And I, I feel like they're just not, they're, they're, they're very reluctant to give ground, and they're just now retreating. I feel like they should have been doing that a while ago. And then you got the cat in the back. That's going to be charging. Ooh, if you can catch that, you know, off guard, that is like a death sentence. That's their combat gen, too. But he's not going to actually directly charge into it. He's going to take out these two units of infantry, which could significantly help the Austrians in this front. These are still a lot of Polish infantry. These guys said some Kazaki, Kazaki. I think this flank is one. It's more or less one for them at this point. I mean, these units are eventually going to break. I mean, they set their generals here. I mean, all it would take is this one Kazaki to 
and just sweep in, and then they would just close the gap, and they're just going to do some rear charges on him. I think this link is more or less one. I think he can start sending this cav over to help the Portuguese to eventually win this fight. But it just depends what the Poles are going to do here, if they're actually going to do much at all. We're making a charge here, and is he going to see that? Is he going to see that? Is he going to make him form square? Yes, he should be able to do it in the woods now. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit painful. But yeah, that's actually pretty smart of them, kind of turning. They should be turning right now and firing, or maybe they're just going for the um. Yeah, Oof, man. Are these the horse archers? I forget. No, these aren't. Ugh, man, it's. I, I, I just, man, like, uh, there's just so many break, yeah, and these guys are gonna break, too, eventually, especially with these guard zoo over here. Oh, yeah, and oh, that's gonna have some last, last remnants of the Austrian crosshairs here. Making a charge and turning the fire, just trying to force back, pull those things away, pull those things away, please. Oh, my God. Yeah, that, that flank, it's just, and they're not really in any p tactical position to do anything at this point, unless they decide to, like, run... Yeah, they're they're just not in a position to do anything at this point, so I I wouldn't really bother with these uh, these guys anymore, and yeah, it seems like they're just gonna try and finish them off any anyway. I would just kind of turn to fo focus down this army. This one's not only a lot more intact, but it's actually in a position to do something. What two generals? This is the first dead general of the match, actually. Uh, that is just Michael Ney there, Kyle Ney. Pull back these units, man. Why keeping up front like that? Defend this building. Portuguese have really done an amazing job this battle. They've just been pinning pinning down like four, three, four points more than them, which is very, very good. Yeah. I would start kind of running over here, though. I would start helping out these guys. They're eventually going to collapse again just through the sheer mass. And unless... And it just seems like they've used a lot of their cab on this flank. So I, maybe even the cab might not even be enough. And a lot of these guys are starting to rally now, too. So I would start shifting more forces away over here. What is this Polish unit doing? Jeez. They're like trying to make it like a mad dash to this road through the many lines to like link up or something. It's uh, <laughs> doing like some weird charge. Very bizarre. The cab should be able to pin them down or at least put them in position where they can't really do anything. This is their four point up here too. Dang, man. There's a like guard zoo regiment. That's like they're yeah, I mean, it's about half depleted. They're kind of leaving this building, but then again, if they want to take this building, they have to sacrifice a unit to walk through it over the mine. Which, if any, it should really should, probably should be uh, not the grenadiers. Um, unless they're gonna send them, I don't know what will happen there. Uh, what are these guys just recruit out these militia? Gonna storm the building. Looks like they actually will not enter the mine, but that's gonna be still gonna cut them off from the road, which can be a pain. They should be able to win this fight. That was some morale looking like for them. Looking, looking, looking pog right now. Looking pretty nice. And uh, what's happening in here? Kill the grin. That's it's impressive. Man, this, they're holding surprisingly well. Now, nah, Portuguese turning. Again, they can't really advance there as the mine. God, just, yeah, they're not really in position to do anything right now. They can hold their four point, but it means, who cares, man? They own, like, all the one points, so what are they going to do over here? No point in focusing them down. They are in a position to do nothing. They could, like, march up here, but you would have so much time to react to the side to start marching up here. Focus this, this army down. No way! Wow. Okay, so they brought two. They they brought two nays. This battle. And that's going to be the second nay down. That's a huge blow to their morale. That's actually going to really really hurt them. That, now that, that's actually going to cause these recruits to hold. That's actually wow. That's impressive from those recruits there holding off against lion and grenadiers. Man, that's that really hurt them there. They're not not marking their generals. And at this point. I would say their only real hope is to retreat to the four point. They have an 
Wow. Okay, so they've actually kind of... Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I think... I think that's exactly what they're planning here. Yeah, retreat to both fours. And they should be able to win that battle, man. Nice. Okay, they're actually in a good position here. I actually kind of... Uh, I, I was... I, they got really innovative there. Um, yeah, they can just hold both fours because they're kind of like in a perfect position here. That is... Uh, Pretty nice of them there. Um, yeah, I, they, they fought, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of what the enemy's perspective is. It's like, oh, crap, they're heading for both fours. I had the same reaction. Yeah, that's actually kind of a, a difficult situation. So I think over here, they're kind of too far away, and they have to fight for the woods and all that. So I, I don't think, that, yeah, this is really the only chance of, um, they got to take these guys down before they can reach that four, or at least completely wipe out that. Um, and the French, uh... And if I were these guys, if I were these guys' forces, I would start either marching vast majority of them over here, or maybe even sending some units um, to these ones. But that not, not that might not be possible. These Cossacks here. But, but they should be able to occupy this. I think it's just a little skirm there. I'm not sure if it's like one of the skirms that are really good in melee or what. But yeah, yeah. But both their generals are dead. That's a, that's a huge blow. It's a big blow. It really is. Uh, Jaegers. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Let's uh, fast forward here a little bit. Um, and these units are wavering already. And we're coming under fire from some artillery. Yeah, again, I want to be shifting vast majority of these forces over here. I think it's... Yeah, it's, it's too late. They couldn't really... Uh, they couldn't really occupy not only this one point, but also... That one point, yeah, it's a little too late. Oh my god, I am sorry. And they're going to be cut off there by those Cossacks. They're killing a lot of these Reserve Legion, which cannot uh, protect themselves against Cav. Except these guys. We'd be lucky to be this unit. This unit looks so cool. I always like this unit. I think they have like 25 accuracy, but only like 2 morale or something. Speed up a little more here. Oh, I'm almost catching that Swiss infantry off guard in that square. That will break that unit, though. They, they probably will occupy this building. It's just a matter of 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 30. It's more like, more like 11 minutes because the timer usually goes into like the negative, negative 10 or something. But Anyway, this is going to be close, man. This is totally winnable. I, I would say it's... I, I would say the coalition is just because of the Cossacks. I, I think it really depends what they do in the, with, with these Cossacks in the next um, 10 minutes of this battle. Again, just... Uh, march these guys over. These, these guys are literally doing nothing protecting this. Start marching these guys over here. They might have cost... They might cost them the battle if they aren't going to... If they're just, if they're just going to sit there not doing anything. I think these four... These three units, I think, is like literally all you need. Like, just... Throw everything else over there. God. Okay, what is in here? Uh, we got the Divistari. Oh, these are the GSs. These are GSs. Uh, both both GSs in here. Will these boys hold? God. Oh, we got some uh, Portuguese recruits in here, too. Portuguese and Russians, opposite sides of Europe. Totally makes sense. They're actually, they're actually throwing themselves out of the building. A lot of these Frenchmen are starting to break. Oh, this is like this is just looking slim. It's looking slim for the French here. Looking very, very slim. You know, with these, I mean, and there's gonna be a huge chain right here in a second if nothing happens. We got these Royal Lucelon. They can break. It may be. It maybe if they could break like these um, recrutos and these Cossacks, it might be a chance. Might be a chance. Just might, but these things are just pouring fire into their backs the whole time. 
I mean, God, man, it's like a free game here, man. <laughs> because we're just sitting there, not doing anything. And it's like, hello. They're starting to break out there, and I think this is it for the French. I think it's a mass route. It is a mass route, if I've ever seen one. And I believe this game should be... And uh, let's just uh, make sure here that they do, in fact, own... I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. That should be over, and it's just these men here. Which, they didn't have time to get over there, so not much they could have done. Yeah. Uh, just, just confirming that they do own these buildings. If uh, Yeah, they own that, and they should almost certainly own this. Yeah, they own that too. Okay. Yep, and that definitely concludes the battle. That definitely concludes the battle. It's basically all them dealt with. They hold four points and all three ones. I mean, it's and literally, they, even if they took this one, uh, some by some miraculous chance, uh, there's literally no way they could reach that in time or that in time. Yeah, there's not much they could really do, and there's no way that these, these forces would allow it to happen. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's definitely the battle. So, go ahead and see you guys at the end screen, unless something happens. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the battle. I'll see you guys. guys. <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, so Jaeger, Travis S., Big Nuba, and Luz de Clermont uh, playing as the three Hispanic players today. That is very well done by the coalition there, having a two point disadvantage. One point disadvantage isn't that bad to me, but yes, Von Ball's playing as Prussian 9 there. Who plays as Craven? Yes, Craven playing as Fortune. He did a very, very excellent job there. Alfred just, uh, Von Ball's getting those kills overall. Second, going to Jaeger, playing as that Spania France. Kills, uh, looks like his combat gen here. And some line, got some pretty thick kills, those guys. Yeah, pounded quite a bit. Oof, man. Yeah, Jaeger did very, very well there. Alongside Von Ball's, and uh, the Portuguese player as well. Really, really, really stand out to me. Sam, yes, did play as uh, Austria here. Very, very well done. Nice battle. It was very, very back and forth there. I actually thought um, when they when they were going to hold both fours, I did not expect those uh, then to hold that, hold that well in the building, though. I understand those are GSs, but, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I, thought that, I actually thought they would have uh, broken relatively quickly, but I was, I was quite wrong. So, that was a very nice battle. Uh, thank you for your Jaeger for sending this in to me. If you guys want to send me replays, just DM it to me in Discord. I'll link it in the description. You can go and just DM them that to me, and uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.